Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing an updated tattoos and piercing video. I did one about a year ago in September. So obviously I've gotten new ink, if you couldn't tell, since last year. And I got a couple new piercings. Some of them I had to like re-pierce, but I'll talk about that more in this video. I just want to say as a disclaimer, again, if you don't like tattoos, you don't like piercings, none of that, you should not be watching this video. If I get any hate or negative comments, it will be deleted and you will be blocked. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Alright, so, um, what did I get since... I'm gonna do piercings first. So, last year, I had told you guys I had like two piercings up here. I had a rook and then I had two over here. And I think I also have my tragus, so I don't know if I took it out before that video. But, I did take out these two um, piercings because they have put the wrong um, jewelry in. The lady that did my piercings, um, first of all, I went to Tough City Tattoos in the Bronx and the lady that did mine, she's like really short and um, she put snake eyes jewelry in my ear hole and I'm just like, why? And so it was like on a curve. So it was constantly sore. Um, my hair was constantly getting caught on it. It was very annoying. I created a keloid behind my ears. Very painful. Hurt so bad. Very itchy. Um, I was holding on to those piercings for so long and then I finally took them out like in January of this year. And then when I went to California in March, I then re-pierced my, um, just my third hole. Before I had the fourth one, but now I just have my third one and I think I'm gonna keep it like that um, unless I change my mind. Also, I took out my rook because that one I developed a keloid, so I only have one rook piercing over here if you guys can see. Um, and that is it for piercings. Now, moving on to tattoos. So the beginning of this year, um, I got this on my arm. So this is a Buddha and um, my inspiration was from this picture and it was like more of a male version and I wanted mine to be like a feminine version, my little twist to it. So this is it right here. I love it so much. Um, it's gorgeous and it has a lotus flower at the bottom. Um, and my grandmother left her phone home. Her phone was ringing. Um, so I also told my tattoo artist I want her to have like really um, full eyelashes, really nice, um, you know, just put your little twist to it, make it something that I would like and what you think would be good. And I love how he did the nose, like the nose looks so perfect. Um, yeah, so that was my first tattoo of this year. I do want to fill in this space, I just haven't gotten to it because I haven't really cared about filling in that spot, but I will soon. Then I got the other side of my face tattooed right here. I have makeup covering it a little bit, but so this is a lotus, lotus flower right here. Um, some dot work, really simple and cute. Um, I wanted both sides done, so yeah, now I have my heart. And then another one. Then um, I didn't get a new tattoo until around like April. So for April, I got 1995, my birth year, tattooed on the front of my like ankle area. I'll try to insert like a photo somewhere in this video just because I want to lift my leg up. Um, but it is like right above the foot. I was going to get it like 19 and the 95, but I just decided to get on one spot because I knew in the future I wanted to get the other part of my leg, same area tattooed. Um, so yeah, I had that, then next, I mean that meaning of that tattoo is pretty much like self-explanatory. Um, then what did I get next? I, my next tattoo that I got this year was my, I feel like I got something else on me, I just don't remember. I think that's it actually. 
But I recently got my neck done. I got it about two months ago. Very, very painful. Oh, let me say about the pain tolerance. So the pain tolerance for this was like, if I can remember, maybe like a 7 out of 10. Some areas hurt more. Um, mainly like the line work and like around the shoulder. Um, this didn't hurt at all. Like literally. And it took like, I think it took like 10 minutes tops to do it. Um... My 1995 tattoo, that one kind of hurt. My foot kept like twitching for some reason. I don't know if the needle was like hitting certain nerves around that area. So he had to kind of like hold my foot down while he was tattooing. Um, that one was like, um, I'll give it like a six out of 10 um, from my memory. What else? Okay, so back to this. This one was a 10 out of 10 for a fact. It hurts so bad. So it goes to the back of my ear. Um, and it is a peony flower um, Kind of similar to the one I have in my hand and I, as you guys can see I like um, like dot work line work, you know tattoos um, Yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10. I didn't think it was gonna hurt but he told me that the reason why it hurts so much is because there's a lot of lines and honestly um, like when I, at one point when I thought he was done, he wasn't done. I was like, oh, so are we done now? And he was just like, nah, I just did the lines. I was like, what? Like, it took him so long to do the lines. Um, He had to spray, um, I think it's like Bactine. Was it Bactine on me? Yeah, or something else, I don't remember. But it like numbed my whole like neck area. So like when he was finishing up, I couldn't really feel it. Some areas I could feel it more. Like down here hurt a lot, here here didn't really hurt that bad behind back here hurt a lot too um i didn't want to get like the front of my neck down like how do i say like i didn't want it to be too forward i want it to be like where you can still see it if you're like looking directly in front of me but you know i don't know how to explain it i just wanted more of the tattoo to be more back here i originally was going to get a tattoo straight on the back of my neck i don't think i'm going to do that anymore just because I do have this going back there unless I created like a piece that connected and went over here. That'd be kind of cool. I low key want to get some stuff over here, but I think I like how I look with just this. Um, I do have a couple more that I want to get in the near future. I want some like tattoos. I'm pretty much done with my arms for now until I go back to finish this right here. Not finish, but to start over here. Um, I do want a foot tattoo. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, at one point, I was thinking about getting my other hand tattooed, but I think I'm good. I'm straight. Um, so yeah, I have posted on my Instagram a Q&A of any questions you have about my tattoos. I did post it on my Instagram yesterday. So the next video will kind of be like a part two to this, um, just answering questions about them. But yeah, this is just my update on my tattoos and period things. I'm surprised I didn't really get that much tattoos this year. The last few years I've gotten like a lot. This year I've gotten one, two, three, four tattoos, right? One, two, three, four. Only got four. The other years I've gotten like six. Like last year I got a lot. The year before that I got a lot too. Um but yeah, also for my legs. I am going to be doing some like color for some reason I prefer the color tattoos on my legs and then up here just like straight um, black and gray and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it also comment share and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you will be alert whenever I do post a new video it will be the bell button by subscribe button on my channel follow me on my snapchat and my instagram my instagram is roshana and my snapchat is roshaxo it will be in the description also in the intro and outro of this video. Um, am I forgetting anything else? Also, I'm coming out with eyelashes. These are another one of the pairs. My last video, um, I was wearing one of them, but this is another different one. So yeah, I have the link to my website in my description and I'll also do a whole separate video on my new lash line. Um, which is gonna be dropping very, very, very soon in the next like two weeks, um, hopefully. And yeah, thank you for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next video, bye.